Are you feeling like butterflies a little bit? Um, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. What's up everybody? So we have a very, very special video for you all today. We decided since we're home for the holidays right now in Florida, that we would go back to our old high school, to the school where Lexi and I met, but to go even further. To the classroom where we met and talk to the teacher whose class we met in, who Cody has actually stayed in touch with all of these years, 10 years later. All right, that's it, we're going in, let's go inside. Okay, everybody, this is Mr. Lefebvre's. <laughs> this is the man whose class that I met my wife in 10 years, it's been 10 years. You're dating me. <laughs> we're so, dating ourselves. We're dating yeah. ourselves. Okay. Listen, so we are about to walk down the very hallway to the portable where Mr. Lefebvre's has been since 2008 and go into the class where Lexi and I met. This is crazy. And he right. says he remembers where we sit. Which exactly. I don't, you gotta show me because I don't Okay, alright, here we go. Alright, this is it. In, so, Mr. wait, Lefebvre. Portable 14, Mr. Lefevers. Portable 14. Oh. Whatever happens in Portable 14 stays in Portable 14. Oh, thank God. Oh, wow. A messy guess. Wow. Oh my gosh. You're gonna have to t explain. It's very simple. Wait, right here. Me? That's where you sat. He knows That's exactly. Quiet, like a mouse. Cody was on the other side of the classroom, and I'll never forget the day when he made his move. Oh wait, you remember the day I, I remember, walked over? I remember like it was yesterday. And I got the courage, right? I, yeah, I, you know, because she could have shut you down, but she. But she gave me a but, chance. But she gave you a shot. You strolled over from. There's five minutes left in class. You strolled <laughs> over around and made your way over, and you were bending over talking to her, <laughs> and, and, and I was just going. Oh. Got game. I should have shut him down, to be completely honest. You were somewhere here. So yeah, here, here's where you had it. This was the pad. That's, that, that's, uh, does it bring back memories? It, it does. It really honestly. does. And she was shy. You know, she, she didn't, was very shy. She, she didn't talk much. She didn't talk much at all. I want to know what has changed around here in the past 10 years. Oh my God. Kids use their phones in school, I'm that's, assuming. That's the one thing that I cannot wrap my mind around, because if a phone was out, it would get snatched. We used to get it taken away and yeah. sent to the office. And now it's so much more lax. So what's the rule here? Yeah, so what is the, the rule? The rule is they can use their phones, but not in the classroom. Okay. And, I got and, it. If, and if you can try and imagine keeping the kids from doing this all day long. It's just probably all, impossible. All it's, it's or, or it's on the desk, and they're just, they're driven. They're driven by their phone. Yeah. Not Nicole. Absolutely. Not. <laughs> She's a good student. <laughs> oh, there's no dress code anymore. So kids can wear like belly shirts shots, or belly rings. Really? Really? Yeah. Oh, that was a no-no back when we were in. Uh, midriff. Uh, oh no, it couldn't be above. In the hallway, it'd be like midriff, and they would tell you, and you'd have to be like, Whoa. I mean, of course, I never did that. Yeah, of course. Not. <laughs> she was, she was very conservative. Yeah, she was. <laughs> I was just kind of nerdy. Hi, so. You, you aren't <laughs> she was smart. She was smart, she was man. Smart. She still is. I was. I feel like I was a. I was a little more outspoken. Oh yeah, you weren't. Sorry. So I was. wasn't. I wasn't afraid to make a move. The first time you talked to me was shortly after a pep rally, where you guys were in your boxers for some reason behind umbrellas, pretending oh, yeah. that you were naked on, on the field for a pep rally. Yeah, that, that and was I remember our... that. And I remember you guys doing that. And I was just like. What in the world? That, that changed the way you felt about me. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> no. for, the, for the worst. What was so great about this guy, he was like one of the only teachers that we could actually be really honest with. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we could actually tell you like what was going on in our lives and we knew that you were just a guy that, that was so approachable and that we could just come to for things. And that's why Ooh. looking back, no, that's Ooh. why that's why looking back, this, this guy was my favorite. He would show us these just very, um, to open up your mind. Yeah, just like mind blowing videos mm. that would really make us think as teenagers. It wasn't just about the book and the textbook. You taught us real world, real life stuff. And we all respected you and loved you. That's why it's going to be hard to leave. You know, kids make you happy. To, not everybody has a chance in their job to actually have an impact on a kid's life. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. 
That's cool. Well, that's that's why we wanted to come here today, really, just because just to tell you that you did make an impact, and then and that we still think of you. We do, years. and we talk about you all the time. The viewers know the story of how we met in this guy's did class. Story, the one she told. Yep. The, My the, side the, the and her side. Okay. Hey, you have a sister. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the true. Oh my God. That is. The you, true you guys, story, uh, and you have to just admit look, that that's yeah. what happened. Okay, look, I was gonna do whatever I had to do to meet this woman, okay, <laughs> no, I, at the I, time. I don't blame her. Was there a time that you remember where you found out that we were getting married and you were just like, wait, what, yeah, or not we really? actually come full circle. Well, you actually told me. <laughs> I said, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Could you have ever thought, though, like, when you saw him walking up to me that day no. that, you know? No, but I thought it was cool. It was cool. <laughs> I, I, I do remember. I remember a leg of yesterday's right at the end of the class. And he just, ooh, those he did the stroll, you know? I think you have a little more swag than he did when <laughs> he did it, but. It's crazy walking down this hallway. I mean, we were here every single day, pretty much, for four years. Pretty much. Lexi did miss a few days. I did. More, I more than me. I did. <laughs> Well, you know she's laughing. She can be late every once in a while, but every once in a while. You no, know, it's been a struggle. Wait, hold on. Yeah, like I had to. Like I gotta fix my hair, Le Fevers. All right. We shared the same locker hallway, unbeknownst to each other, until I actually saw her walking down the hallway. Destiny. Do you remember your exact locker? Yeah, it was wow, the, this is impressive. the second to last one on this row, right here. This was mine. This was it. 28, 30, 16, okay? Ooh, that's a good memory. Where was yours, babe? Mine was at the end. This was like kind of in between all my classes, so I can run here. Center point. But mine was... Do you remember Ooh, where it is? I don't is? know if I remember the exact But it was this locker, section. But yeah, it was in here. I think it was, I want to say it was like this one. So did he make his way down the hallway knowing you were here? Is this where, where the conversation took place about the system? Is it? No, this, this is what happened. So I would, I, my locker was up at the front way down there. So she would pass by th between oh, every class. Yeah. So I was walking in this way. Yeah. And I went by your locker. Exactly. And that's when you were like, hey, hey. <laughs> Don't you have a sister? You have a sister yeah. that goes to the school, right? Yeah. And and I already knew that he had spoken to my sister Tiffany because she of course came home and said, Is there Co is Cody in your class? He talks to me about you every single day and he keeps asking me for your number and I'm like, I've never talked to the guy in my life. And she said, You're gonna have to get it on your own. Yeah. So we just left the school and we're sitting in the car just kind of reflecting and it's just so crazy. I can't believe that it's been 10 years. I can't believe that a popular boy coming up to me in my sociology class <laughs> asking me about a letter in my name just changed the course of my whole life. It's really cool. I never thought I was going to marry the woman who I went up to in my sociology class, but that's no. just how our life turned out. A lot of people at this school really impacted our lives. Mr. Lefevre's impacted my life, uh, Mr. Myers, Mr. Atkins. There's just so many great people who, when you're young, you don't realize will be so important. And it's just really cool to come back to the place of growth. It was really cool to do this. It was really awesome. And honestly, as you guys could probably tell, Mr. Lefevers is such a great man. Um, and it really does mean a lot to your teachers to go back, maybe not even go back in person, but to drop them a call or drop them an email because it's really special to them to know that people that they taught that have grown up still remember them and still care about them. Um, and it, it's a real thing. Like we'll always look back and remember Mr. Lefevers because of this major detail in our lives. So anyways, I just think it's special for teachers to know that their students that have moved on in life still think about them um, and still put forth the effort to give them a call or to drop them an email and just say, hey, how you doing? You know, just wanted to reach out to you and thank you so much for the impact you made in my life. I really have not 
been back and walked through those halls since I graduated. That's crazy. And so it's just, it hasn't changed much and it's really happy. It's just really, it was, it was cool. All right, so for old time's sake, do you want to kiss in the parking lot? <laughs> I'm just kidding, we it. didn't do that. Yeah. Today has been a blast from the past. We hope that you guys enjoyed going on this journey with us. I'm so happy that we did it. And we're so grateful for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. We so, so appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click the subscribe button. And we're super excited to just be in a place where we can kind of reminisce on life, kind of. It yeah. really brings you back. And I feel kind of old. <laughs> We're getting up there. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. See you guys soon.